In this video, we'll look at the empirical, molecular, and structural formulas for caffeine. So let's start out with the molecular formula. The molecular formula, that's when we count up all the atoms in a caffeine molecule. So here's a model of the caffeine molecule. The blacks, those are the carbons. We have nitrogen are the blue, red oxygens, white hydrogens. And if we counted all of those up, for example, one, two oxygens, this is what we'd get for the molecular formula. C8H10N4O2. There's our two oxygens. And you could count up the other atoms as well. You're probably not going to be able to get from caffeine to this molecular formula just by looking at the word caffeine. You really would need the full chemical name for caffeine. And that looks like this. So even then, it might be a little bit challenging. So the molecular formula, all of the molecules counted up, C8H10N4O2, that's for caffeine. Let's look at the empirical formula. So the empirical formula, that's just the lowest ratio of atoms in the molecule here. So the lowest number is 2. If we divided everything by 2, we'd get C4H5N2O. So that's the empirical formula for caffeine, C4H5N2O. It's just the lowest ratio that we would have here with the molecular formula. If we wanted to write a structural formula for caffeine, it would look like this model here, but in a kind of shorthand. So this is the structural formula for caffeine. And again, there's our one, two oxygens, and here they are right here. Likewise, we could look at the nitrogens and at the carbons and the hydrogens. Here, we don't show the hydrogens. We'd have a carbon on the end of each one of these, and they'd have the three hydrogens. Although we don't necessarily show the hydrogens here in the structural formula. So that's the empirical, molecular, and structural formula for caffeine. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.